I think the rag is a song basically which they have chosen some notes and made a combination and they have made a rag it's like in Asian I mean I don't know when it was made and there's like thousands of rag within the seven notes what they have created We have like a lot of different moods of raga. We have uh, sentiment raga, we have devotional ragas, we have romantic raga, we have uh, uh, serious ragas also. So depend what raga you playing, and how you see to that raga, keeping the same notes, the same combination of note, and doing your own composition. There are very traditional composition also, but if you want, you can do your own thing. There is no bound on it. But uh, according to my experience, what I think, the, the notes have to do something with, within our system. So it affects your chakras and your uh, mind frame if it is uh, played in a certain time. As we have the sunrise ragas, early morning ragas like Lalit and Ayur Bhairav and many other Bhatiyar and all that. In the North people, North Indian style, you have to play specifically Raga in the specific time. But uh, according to Rishi Muni, it, it helped, I think, because now there's a therapy, medical therapy also through music. If that works, I'm sure this timing Raga frame will definitely work on it. But when you hear it in a correct timing, you can feel that something is happening in your system if you are totally involved in the music. A lot of people say that it doesn't matter because anyhow if you are playing in an auditorium, it's, it's dark, whether it's morning, day or night. But still, because you have come from your house to the crossing the road and everything, you can, you can feel the sunrise. If you are sleeping also, you, somewhere, if your eyes are closed, somewhere you can see the goldenness around your nature or whatever so you can feel the morning and the notes are really have to do something with the system I have felt it many times 